Giles. I'm a physiotherapist who just completed my PhD through La Trobe University, investigating the effects of blood flow restriction training in the treatment of patellofemoral pain. Blood flow restriction training is a way of strengthening the muscles at low load, uh, around 30% of one repetition maximum. You place a tourniquet around the limb. This limits blood flow to the muscle while you're doing the exercise and also limits the blood flow coming back from the muscle. This causes the muscle to fatigue at a faster rate than in normal exercises and that build up of uh, metabolites will, uh, is what's thought to invoke adaptive change in the muscle. So the research in blood flow restriction training uh, probably originated out of Japan in the early 2000s. Um, originally it was looked at just to, as a light load way of, of doing um, strength training. Um, and they even did some experiments like people walking with occlusion on and they found that that uh, produced muscle hypertrophy in the quadriceps. Um, but so then from there, I think the strength, the strength and conditioning field uh, sort of across the world got on got onto it and they've done a lot of research um, testing out in various other conditions. So then they tried to see uh, does using blood flow restriction help in addition to heavy strength training. So if you're doing a heavy load and they found it didn't really make too much of a difference there. Um, so I guess where it was, the interesting part was people didn't think you could improve muscle size and strength using low loads and that's where occlusion or blood flow restriction training came in and they found that you could. Uh, so then they also asked the question, which is probably the more recent research has, has asked the question, well, can we strengthen at low loads without blood flow restriction? And the answer is actually yes. It's not uh, it, like it will require more repetitions because it takes longer to get to, to failure, but if you do do uh, more repetitions, you can still get uh, muscle strength gains um, at low load. So um, the advent of blood flow restriction certainly uh, added a lot to what we know about strength training and how it works. When I was working as a physiotherapist and treating people with patellofemoral pain, I'd always read uh, the research that said quadricep strengthening is an effective treatment method. Um, and all of the research, the majority of that research was using like traditional strength training principles. So it's heavy around 70% of the one repetition maximum um, during the exercises. Uh, and then when I'd see someone as a patient in the clinic, I would very rarely do that because I was always worried that I was going to stir up their, their condition. Now, obviously when you do put heavy load through the quadriceps, that's also heavy load through the patellofemoral joint and um, my thoughts were a lot of people would not tolerate that too well. Um, and so I just started, somehow came across blood flow restriction training and did a bit of reading about it. And I thought, geez, that could be a, a good uh, way of doing using a much lighter load to strengthen the quadriceps. Um, um, so potentially get the, the gains or the improvements that can come from having um, larger quadriceps, stronger quadriceps, um, better patellar stability um, without potentially aggravating the condition. So that was the theory behind our research. In our study we compared um, in 79 people uh, blood flow restriction training at uh, about 30% of the one repetition maximum to uh, a regular strength training program at 70% of one repetition maximum. Um, each group did eight weeks of strength training supervised by a physiotherapist um, and we measured um, the changes in muscle strength, pain, uh, worse pain like during daily activities um, and just their general um, overall outcome in terms of how happy they were with um, their improvement. Our results showed that quadriceps strengthening works. Uh, people who did the quadriceps strengthening program had improvements in pain and muscle strength, as, as has been shown in previous research. Um, blood flow restriction training also, we did find that blood flow restriction training improves muscle strength, even when you're doing it at 30% of uh, one repetition maximum. For people with patellofemoral pain, we can improve muscle strength and size. And 
Overall, the results were pretty similar to the quadriceps strengthening program for people with patellofemoral pain. So basically you'll expect a similar outcome apart from a slightly greater improvement in uh, daily pain for people in the blood flow restriction training group. Uh, for people who had particularly painful knees while doing, uh, while doing strength testing, so people who with more patellofemoral pain, um, they had a greater improve, improvement in strength from doing blood flow restriction training than doing a regular strength training program. We suspect that this is uh, because the people in the regular strength training group who had pain weren't able to reach their 70% of uh, one repetition maximum uh, effectively because the pain was limiting that. With blood flow restriction training, you are cutting off blood flow to the limb, uh, so it's important to consider the safety of using this. Um, generally, the research so far has suggested that it is safe. There hasn't been any um, obviously large side effects that have been noted from the research. Um, that said, the majority of the studies have been physiological, um, and there's definitely more research to be done there. You know, as a comparison, when someone has surgery, they they will generally have a tourniquet on for around you know two or three hours. Uh, for this, we're only you know, using partial arterial occlusion, and it's for you know five minutes maximum. Um, so it's very small amount of occlusion relative to that. Um, that said, always uh, seek medical advice before you're going to use you know, blood flow restriction training. So our first finding was that uh, strength training works. So it's an effective method of improving uh, pain and muscle strength in people with patellofemoral pain. This is in line with what previous research has found. Uh, we also found that blood flow restriction training at 30% of one repetition maximum can improve muscle strength and pain in people with patellofemoral pain. And uh, this, uh, overall, this was no better really than just doing a regular strength training program, apart from the people with the blood flow restriction training did have a greater reduction in their daily pain than the strength training group. Um, however, our third point, which was for uh, people who had painful resisted knee extension, so people who had pain while doing the exercises, um, they responded better to the blood flow restriction training um, and had a greater improvement in strength than doing a regular strength training program. We suspect that this is because people who had pain and were doing a heavy strength training program weren't able to really push through and tolerate the heavy strengthening very well and they would have had to back off their load to be able to do the exercises. This minimized their uh, strength gains that they would normally get from doing heavy strength training. But uh, doing blood flow restriction, they avoid that because it works at low load.